Welcome. We are talking about SJWs versus the Bible. What do SJWs believe? What are some of the problematic behaviors that SJWs engage in? And what does the Bible have to say about these things? First off, what is an SJW, or social justice warrior? Social justice warriors believe in an extreme left-wing ideology that combines feminism, progressivism, and political correctness into a totalitarian system that attempts to censor speech and promote fringe lifestyles while actively discriminating against men, particularly white men. They are the internet activist arm of Western progressivism that acts as a vigilante group to ensure compliance and homogeny of far-left thought. What are some problematic SJW behaviors? Let's start with lying. SJWs will frequently lie about what they really believe. So they will claim to be anti-racist and then turn around and say all sorts of vicious things about white people. They also lie about other people. They will lie about what someone has said or done in an attempt to engage in character assassination against them. When they are caught lying, it is very common for SJWs to double down and tell more lies, often more extreme lies, in order to justify the outrage mob that they are trying to summon. What does the Bible say about lying? The Ten Commandments say, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. The book of Proverbs says, These six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. So when someone is bearing false witness and lying about someone else and what they have done or said, that is something that God hates. Someone that is trying to create division, turn people against each other, that is an abomination unto God. What are some other problematic SJW behaviors? They love to create division. They will try to divide people on the basis of race, turning non-white people against white people. They try to divide people on the basis of sex, turning women against men. There is also a, a subtle anti-Christian um, bias that many of these SJWs will exhibit. For example, if you talk to them about missions, that is, people going overseas to tell people about God or to provide free medical care or things like that, many SJWs will denounce this as imperialism or colonialism and in that way try to actually divide people against Christians. What does the Bible say about people that like to start divisions? There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. That means slaves. There's, there's no difference between slaves or free people. So economic status 
There is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in, in Christ Jesus. So we are not supposed to be dividing people up based on how they look, or their economic status, or whether they are male or female. What about this SJW idea that it's okay to create division against white people because of the sins of past generations? The Bible says, The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. So we are not supposed to be judging people, punishing people on the basis of things that their forefathers have done. You're supposed to judge each individual person on what they do. And for those of you who still may be on the fence about whether SJWs are dangerous or not, imagine if SJW ideology were directed at anyone else. Imagine if someone came into your church saying that women are the cause of all of society's problems. Imagine if someone came into your church saying that blackness is a sin that you need to repent of. How long would it take you to kick them out of your church? Five minutes? And yet SJWs will go on, in many cases for years, without anyone confronting them about these wicked, sinful behaviors that they're engaging in. And in some future videos, I'm going to talk about why you need to excommunicate these people and how to actually confront them. Thank you for watching. As you're watching this, if you realize that you do not have a relationship with God, and you would like to, then you can call out to him. Ask him to forgive your sins through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life.